I am supposed to be reviewing case notes, but my mind is elsewhere. It's been weeks since I first noticed the shift in my feelings for my patient, John. It was a gradual awakening, a subtle stirring that I initially dismissed as a professional admiration. But as our sessions progressed, the feelings went deeper, transforming into something far more powerful and disturbing. Affection, longing, and a flicker of something that might be something dangerous to feel. Mm. I've always prided myself on my professional detachment, my ability to maintain a therapeutic boundary between myself and my patients. But with John, the boundary seemed to have crumbled, leaving me vulnerable and exposed. I've caught myself staring at him more than I should, admiring his thoughtful eyes, his genuine smile, and the quiet strength he sends out despite the personal struggles he shared with me. <laughs> Initially, I approach this with professionalism and empathy, understanding mm. that it was a deeply personal aspect of his identity. Over time, however, I found myself drawn to this aspect of him, intrigued by the subtle ways it manifests in his interaction with me. I've noticed his gaze linger on my feet whenever I wear sandals or open-toed shoes. There's a hit of longing in his eyes, a quiet admiration that I find both flattering and unsettling. I've also caught him staring at my heels and the way they dangle gracefully from my feet. I've spent countless hours pondering the significance of these glances, wondering if they represent a deeper connection between us. Am I simply projecting my own feelings onto him or is there an element of attraction that I'm not fully acknowledging? He's no longer ashamed or embarrassed by it, but rather open and honest about his desires. This openness has allowed me to better understand his perspective, to see his as a natural and harmless part of his identity. His glances have become more intense, his gaze lingering for longer periods. I can almost feel the longing in his eyes. I'm torn between wanting to respond to his desire and maintaining my professional boundaries. On one hand, I'm captivated by his attraction, the way he sees me through his eyes. 
the other hand, I am bound by my duties as his therapist. The responsibility to protect his well-being and maintain the integrity of our therapeutic relationship. try to justify my feelings, to convince myself that they are merely a professional, a professional fascinations, a byproduct of our close working relationship. But deep down, I know that there's more to it than that. I want to be there for John to support him on his journey of self-discovery and acceptance. But I also want to acknowledge my own feelings, to explore the possibility of a deeper connection. The path forward is unclear hidden in uncertainty and self-doubt. It's a delicate dance, one on high heels, a struggle between my duty to my patient and the desire of my own soul. For more videos like this one and even behind the scenes clips you can subscribe to my only fans account thank you all for supporting me and i'll see you in my next videos